Here I'm going to show you how to make a dynamically updating named range that goes from left to right. In the last tutorial I showed you how to make it one go up and down. So it's a little bit different but not too much. Now let's first uh, define the named range, sales, right here. So I'm going to highlight that and in the name box type in sales, enter. Now let's go ahead and make sure that works see what we get for our total sales, so equals sum open parentheses sales close parentheses enter and we get 89 for total sales. Now that's how you can use the named range to uh, make your life a little bit easier but what's the point of it when you're going to be continually adding data for sales? So if we add 50 here, 50 here well, nothing happens. Our total doesn't update because it's not dynamic, so that can prove to be a real headache. So let's go ahead and uh, create a dynamic named range that'll go from left to right. Now in the named range example that I showed you how to go up and down, I created the formula in the name manager. Here, I'm first going to type the formula out in Excel to show you how that's easier. So let's first begin we're going to be using the offset function. So equals offset O-F-F-S-E-T open parentheses. Now the first thing here, the reference, is going to be the very first number in your list. And the very first number in our list is right here for day one. Do not include the title. Only the first thing in the list. Comma. Now it wants a row and a column. So for the row we're going to put zero comma for the column we're going to put zero. Now what that means is if you were to put a number here it would tell the reference point to not start here in cell B2 but instead to go up, down, left, or right a certain number of cells. So it would change where the reference is and we don't want that. So after you've entered the two zeros hit another comma. Now we're going to talk about the height. Well we're not going up and down this time. So the height is going to be one because that's how big uh, the row is just one row comma now we're going to adjust the width and that's what makes this different from the uh, dynamic named range that goes up and down so for the width we're going to use the count function because we're only dealing with numbers here if we were dealing with text we would use the count a function so count open parentheses and simply select the entire row then close the parentheses for the count and close the parentheses for the offset. Now we don't have to do any anything after the count like sometimes you may see a minus one or a two we don't have to do that here because we're using numbers so since we're counting the numbers and the title is text it doesn't matter because the count function doesn't count the title because it's text so we're not going to run into that problem. Now go ahead and hit enter just to make sure this formula works and uh, don't worry about the number that spits out though. So Let's go ahead and double click this, highlight all of it, control C to copy, now hit escape, control F3 to go into the name manager. Now for our sales reference click that and go to the box down here. Now you see it has absolute references so that's no good. Go ahead and delete all of that and type control V so we're pasting the formula that we just created. Click the checkbox, click close, and and now we should theoretically have a named range, a dynamic named range. Now you may be wondering why I had you write this formula out here. And the reason is because you see if you type formula down here you get this neat little thing that tells you everything you need to put in but when you type that in the name manager it does not appear so it's just easier to do it that way. So I'm going to delete that now and let's try and add some data. So you make some good sales on the fourth and watch the total as it increases each time. The fifth. So now every time we add something this number is going to change and if we delete everything it goes to nothing because there's no number in the cell so let's start over and you notice every time that I add something the number grows. So now we have a dynamic named range that is going to go left to right. 
and this is what the formula actually looks like. So this is what you put in the name manager right there. So there you go.